Have you ever wondered what a sound looks like? We all know that a sound can kickstart a feeling, but I'm wondering if you've ever extended the thought and wondered what a feeling looks like. Since my first near-death experience, understanding and capturing what I'm able to hear has been a driving force in my life. For whatever reason I'm able to draw to multiple decimal points of accuracy, what I am able to hear. This is how my colleague Bob Gray first began to map the geometric knowledge of the Marian matrix and the knotted pattern it generates. Shortly after my accident, I realized if I was ever going to understand what happened that day over the Alps and communicate the message that silly me I'd promised to deliver, some internal housekeeping was absolutely necessary. Believe me, it wasn't easy as I'd spent a good deal of my life pushing pain and sorrow under the proverbial rug. While the lump was more like a frozen mountain, what was even more stunning was to discover that it was actually my emotional body that was all but dead under that carpet. In a group session, a therapist unexpectedly asked me what I was feeling, and I was dumbstruck, literally mute, hard to believe, but true. While I could recount verbatim what had been said for the past hour, I realized in that moment that I was an observer rather than a deserving, never mind pain, participant. And it wasn't just true about the group, it was true about life. Since that day, the acronym UFO has stood for Unidentified Feeling Orbiting, and I've discovered why it's important to identify and appropriately express whatever I'm feeling as soon as possible. Yesterday an article about feelings in our bodies came across my desk and looking at this image a cascade of thoughts tumbled to mind. What was immediately significant was that researchers now understand that how we as humans process emotions is not unique, it's universal. Despite diversity in culture and language, there's a unity to our physical reality when it comes to feeling our feelings. Looking at this picture, having the blues will probably take on new meaning for you like it did for me. It also makes it clear that an energy rush comes from positive as well as negative emotions. Knowing what it feels like to be affected by angry individuals, the almost white-hot fire in the hands of the first image was terrifying. Understanding full well the both and colors of sadness, the images of what love and happiness do filled me with gratitude as I realized that a thankful heart is absolutely the key to resolving sadness's paradox. In just about every way, this simple image provided me with a meaningful understanding about why painting and creating is so essential for my spirit, especially when feelings are running strong. When I'm faced with self-doubt or surrounded by confusion and chaos, especially when it's generated by others, the healing power of creativity allows me to color, or maybe recolor is better stead, said, my emotions and also to restore harmony and order to my inner world. And like this tape, it's also a reminder that perfect is what we are, not something that any of us can ever do.